Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today I'm going to help out one of my viewers. One of my viewers is having problems with trying to make one song play per slide in Keynote. Well today we're going to fix that. Now this is a fairly easy process. Let's go ahead and get started. I have a three slide Keynote presentation right here and what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a song to each particular slide. So in order to do that I need to go to my inspector. Up at the top here we have this little eye which is the inspector so if it's not visible you need to click on that and make the inspector visible. The next thing we're going to do is click on the very first tab. These are little tabs up here. I know they're kind of small. But click on this document inspector tab right here. Then there are three different buttons at the top. The first one is document. The second one is audio. Then from there we're going to click on our iTunes library and then I'm going to show you a different way to do this. But click on the iTunes library. Now I downloaded some royalty free music from Jason Pfaff over there at Jamendo where you can download some music to listen to. This is a great album here. This is Instrumental Rock and Electronica. He does a great job here and I'm allowed to use this under the Creative Commons license. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of his songs. If I click on that one I can preview it over here. I can also tell how long the song is going to be. That's very important if you want the song to play throughout the entire slide. So I'm going to click on the first one and I'm going to drag it on top of my slide. Now it doesn't matter where this is because this is not going to show up in your presentation. The next thing we need to do is we need to make this song play. In order to do that we need to go to a different tab up here which is the third tab in the building inspector and then we need to make a build in. Under the effect you'll see that there is only one and that is to start the audio. Now there's a couple more options if you click this more options button right here. If you want to have to click on the slide to make the song start playing, you leave it here. If you want it to automatically start playing, you click right there. Now that we started the song, we need to stop the song. So to stop the song, we're going to click build out, go to effect, and of course you only have one effect and that is stop audio. Over here we have the build out and then we can automatically start it after the build one. The problem is, is it's going to start the audio and then it's immediately going to stop the audio and you're not going to be able to hear it. So what we need to do is we need to put a delay in there. Now this song was 1 minute 12 seconds which is 72 seconds so if I wanted to put a 72 second delay in there what will happen is the song will start playing and 72 seconds later the song will stop playing. Now I am only going to put for the brevity of this video I'm going to put a 5 second delay in there. I'm going to close my drawer and then I am going to go to my next slide. Now on my next slide I want to add a song but I'm not going to add it through the normal iTunes. Maybe I downloaded a song and it's in my finder. So over here I downloaded Jason Pfaff's album into my downloads right here and I am going to grab one of his songs right here and maybe I want to pick this one right here. I can grab that song and drag it on top of my slide just like I did in the iTunes library. The next thing I need to do is go back to my inspector and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on the build in button. We're going to start our audio. We're going to go to more options and then start build either on click or automatically after the transition. Then on build out we're going to go to effect. We're going to stop the audio. We're going to do that after build one and once again I am going to put a delay. Now you want to put the delay of how many seconds the song you want to run. Let's start this slideshow and see what it looks like. Let's click play. You can hear the song is playing. After five seconds it stops. Now I forgot to put a transition to jump to the next slide but if I click the space bar you can hear that once again the song starts five seconds later the song stops. Now let's go ahead and look at this. You notice that when the slide started it automatically started to play and that's because on our build in 
I didn't select a delay on our build in. So if you don't want the song to start immediately when the slide starts, you can put a delay on the build in. Let me go ahead and put about two second delay here. And then let's look at it one more time in the play version. It starts. Two seconds later, the song starts. It'll last five seconds before it stops. If we go to the next one. The music starts. Five seconds later, the music stops. Now, once again, you have to put how long you want the music to play. Now, that's the answer to the question. Hopefully, you got something out of this particular tutorial. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like and share my videos with your friends. Cheers.